Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strict. Thank you so much for being here. So today, as you can see by the title, we are finally doing a full face of hard candy. I had never tried anything from hard candy. So all these are brand new products. By the way, this is more of a review because I have tried them. I know sometimes you guys don't like only first impressions, so I do have some thoughts on some products. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and that you find it helpful. And if you do like it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. All right, I got a quick little disclaimer. Mask me. <sighs> I have a lot of maskne and if, if you notice how much aquaphor I have on my lips is because I'm still struggling with super, super dry lips. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what to do, but the filming must go on. So like I mentioned in the intro, I already did a wear test with these products so that that way I could give you more of an in-depth um, review. So we're actually going to start out with the eye portion just because the only thing I really haven't tried are a couple powders including the eyeshadow palette. By the way, this full face costs me $83 at Walmart. So for brows, I got two different products. I got like a little pen marker kind of deal and then of course a tinted brow gel. This is the Hard Candy Brows Now Brow Ink Detailer Pen and this one's in the shade Medium. I purposely didn't clean the pen because this is how I saw it the first time so I just want to show you that it is a little leaky so I'm not very good at these pens so I'm just going to fast this forward and try my best I prefer the benefit one or the one that has like three peaks to me that's easier than doing one by one but I'm gonna try my best and let's see how this looks on its own okay so that was actually a little bit easier to use it looks pretty good but I just want you guys to notice that even though on my hand it looks like a medium tone brown, for some reason on the eyebrows it looks a lot more cooler and a lot darker and it almost looks black. So the first time that I used these products, I used the brow gel first and then this and it almost didn't go together because they were two different shades. So far so good. Uh, it might be the better one that I've tried from the drugstore. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then we can do the brow gel. But I actually do like it. It's pigmented enough, but not overwhelming. I'm just not the biggest fan of the shade. It's just very, very dark. All right, so here are the brows. They actually look pretty good and I'm a little scared to be using the brow gel, but I do like the brow gel. I just don't know about the shade. So really quickly, I do like this pen. Just remember that if you do get the shade medium, it's gonna be this dark, so keep that in mind. So this is called the Brows Now Fiber Brow Gel and Cellulose, and this is in the shade Light Medium. Now, I do think that this looks like a light medium shade. I just feel like the pen looks more like a deep brown. So this is gonna be too light, but this is the right shade. It's a light medium shade, it's cool tone, but this is just a little dark. Um, so we'll see how it goes together. As you can see, the brush is tiny. This is actually the tiniest brush I've ever used, and I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and I'll tell you more of my thoughts. So here are the brows. Honestly, not my favorite because I personally prefer to do tinted brow gel first and then go in with a pen or a pencil. With the color range that I have, it's just not possible because trust me, it looked so weird when I did it the opposite. But this brow is actually really nice. If you're looking for a tiny, tiny, tiny wand that has fibers, so it's gonna make your eyebrows look a little bit thicker and of course tinted as well while holding them in shape, I actually like it. I'm not sure why not a lot of people are talking about this because to me, this is probably the smallest wand I've seen at the drugstore. If you're looking for the tiniest brush ever at the drugstore and it's a good formula, then this would be a good one for you guys. So let's move on to eyeshadow. I'm quickly gonna use their concealer as an eye primer. And then of course, once we get to the actual concealer part, we can talk more in depth about it. I'm just gonna cover my lids, blend it out, and then I am gonna set it with a translucent powder. So they do have a lot of different eyeshadow palettes to choose from. I went ahead and grabbed one of the smaller ones just because I haven't tried 
their eyeshadow. I mean, I haven't tried anything. So before picking up like one of their large palettes, I figured why not try something smaller. This is called the Top 10 Eyeshadow Collection in the shade Berry Delish. And it does come with a brush and it just has a mixture of mattes and shimmers. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up, but I will be doing a full eyeshadow look and I'll be showing you guys which shades I'm using. And when I'm done, I'll let you know what I think. love the palette so I'll tell you guys why the formulas are a little bit lackluster I don't know if you guys noticed I did like three layers on each side for the halo eye the middle shade and it almost doesn't even look like I did a halo because it doesn't actually pop it's not very shiny there's not a lot of fallout on my face but there is a lot of fallout and kickback on the actual shades themselves. They're very crumbly. I don't know, I just feel like there wasn't very many good transition shades. I think that you guys can get more for your money. I believe this e.l.f. palette, it's brand new. I believe this is $10 and it's amazing. Um, there's just so many other eyeshadow palettes that you can get at the drugstore for $10 that work really, really well. So for me, this was a no-go. I did use the little brush that it comes with and it was fine. You know, so if you do, um, use this brush with the palette it's fine i'm not telling you that it's a bad palette you just you can get way more for your money now when it comes down to quality so we're gonna do eyeliner next they did have a felt tip liner so this is called the stroke of gorgeous little black dress felt tip eyeliner I did like this liner it's pretty pigmented and easy to use i'm more into brush tips now but this is a felt tip and for a felt tip at the drugstore it's pretty good um, i'm gonna go ahead and do a wing liner on my eyes and I'll be right back and I'll tell you guys how it dries and everything like that so this is the eyeliner fully dry it is pretty black but it is uh, drying shiny if you're not into a shiny liner you're not gonna like this so the reason why I don't love felt tip is because when you're doing it over eyeshadow it tends to cling on to the eyeshadow so then you're not getting as much pigment because there's eyeshadow blocking it see how the tip has a bunch of pink eyeshadow this is why I prefer a brush tip and also to me, um, when you're using a brush tip, the tip has more pigment. This is kind of hard to actually get pigment all the way to the top of the tip. So I don't really love it. It's not my favorite. Um, my two favorite liners from the drugstore that are amazing, very pigmented and really affordable are the Maybelline Liquid Liner Brush Tip as well as the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liner. I would suggest those instead of this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara as well as lashes and I'll be right back and we can move on to the face products so the glue is still drying and I am so sorry guys I have no idea what lashes these are I specifically didn't get the hydrating primer because everybody talks about it all the time so I figured let me get a different one also the jelly pop primer is supposed to be a dupe for the milk hydrating primer and I don't love that primer so I didn't want to get something that was kind of like that primer so this is called the hard candy sheer NB pore defense primer it says that it's a 12 hour pore refresh finding primer that minimizes the appearance of pores oil free and silicone free I am very much into pore minimizing primers but when I tried this first of all so much like juice came out like it wasn't coming out um, together like it was very separated and for a pore minimizing primer it just has like a weird texture so yeah see how it's coming out I don't know it's like not coming out in like a consistent way and this looks more like a water-based gel cream, which I was very confused by because usually a pore minimizing primer does not look like this. I actually like the way it feels. It's a 
hydrating feeling primer. I'm not sure if it actually hydrates or not. And it does get a little tacky. And this is the tackiness that I like. I personally don't love something super sticky. I just prefer something a little bit tacky. So I do like what it does for my skin in the sense that I like the way it primes. But I don't think that it does what it says. Like this to me seems more of a... I don't know, I would market it more maybe like as a hydrating primer, but it like doesn't really cover or minimize my pores at all. It's just, it's not really filling in my pores. It doesn't look bad. I do like the feel that it gives my skin. So I do like the primer, but I don't think you should buy it if you're looking for a pore minimizing one. Let's move on to the foundation because I actually do like the foundation. I promise guys, this is not like a total fail of a video. So this is the Camouflage Full Coverage Foundation 16 Hour Wear Oil Free, and I did get the shade Warm Honey. Now I know this looks very dark for my skin. Just remember my neck and like, Literally, look how much darker my hand and my neck are than my face. By the way, it does come with a DOFA applicator, which I actually really like. I know that a lot of people say it's not hygienic, but like, what's the difference between foundation and concealer? Like, it's the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out with the oval brush, and then I'm gonna use the new e.l.f. marshmallow sponge to even it all out, and then I can tell you guys what I think about it. I actually feel like the foundation is actually a little bit lighter than my actual skin, but it looks pretty good. So on the back, it does say that that this is a full coverage foundation, long wearing, super smooth liquid makeup that lasts up to 16 hours. It is a lightweight formula that offers full coverage. I will say, I personally see this more of a medium coverage. I put quite a bit of product and I still see some of my acne and freckles and things like that. I do like the foundation. I think that it is very lightweight for the amount of coverage that it gives. Personally, I don't love building up a lot of foundations because that's when you start getting cakey. But I, like I said, I do like it. I just feel like there's other um, foundations that are more full coverage. But see, I just, built it and it did give me a little bit more of a full coverage so just know that if you do want that full coverage um you do need to build it up but overall i really do like the formula it does last a really long time it looks nice even throughout the day it blends super easily and it is a very natural finish it's not super matte or super dewy so i feel like this foundation will work for a lot of people so for concealer when you think you found your shade go a shade deeper because they're very very light so this is called the camouflage pro full coverage concealer with licorice roots to help brighten skin and i I ended up getting the shade sand it's gonna be a little light um but we will make it work like always so i'm gonna go ahead and apply it i don't tend to highlight a lot anymore but since this is very light i do feel like i have to um even it out so i'm gonna highlight my nose my chin and maybe like a little bit right here like i said i don't normally do that anymore but we need to balance this face out Okay, so this is a concealer. I went ahead and did a little bit of reverse contouring because the bronzer that they have is not very dark. Spoiler alert. This concealer, okay. I actually like the foundation better than this concealer. I think that if you wanna try a complexion product, it should be the foundation. I don't think this is full coverage. Again, I know that you might think it is, but just trust me in person, it is a medium coverage. So do I think this camouflage, glamouflage thing is for real not really i'm gonna go ahead and build it again i don't love building products because it starts getting cakey especially under the eyes so i'm gonna go ahead and build it and then we're gonna get more of a full coverage it's just not my favorite it doesn't look amazing under the eyes again already creasing and it's not full coverage so i personally would get the foundation rather than the concealer so for powder i was a little bit thrown back by this they do have a couple different kinds of powders but I got the blurring pore refining powder because again, I'm very much about blurring pores. So this is again, the blurring pore refining sheer envy loose powder. And there is no shades. This is the only shade. So I just thought this would be like a translucent powder, but it's actually quite dark, which is going to help with how light my uh, concealer is. But if you're fair skinned, this is not going to work for you. Maybe now you guys will see how this is like a peachy, darker powder. So again, make sure you go in with your sponge because by now it is crease central. And I'm going to go ahead 
and set everywhere that I applied my concealer. I almost thought about setting my whole face, but I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna apply it where I put concealer. So I actually do like this powder. If you're looking for a pore minimizing product, get the powder, not the primer. I do think that this does what it says it does. It just throws me off how dark it is because I feel like I can't necessarily recommend this universally. So if you do have medium to deeper skin tones, I think that you guys are really gonna like that. It's one of those powders that are a little bit gritty. They're not super fine HD, which I really enjoy and it looks good. <laughs> Ew, I'm such a derp, but um, no flashback. This is just my derp face, but uh, we're good on flashback. So moving on to bronzer, they have a matte bronzer and a shimmer bronzer, a matte blush and a shimmer blush. So I got the matte bronzer and the shimmer blush so we could try out both formulas. So this is called the Maui Babe Just Glow Matte Bronzer. But it's just very disappointing because this is the only shade of bronzer they have. This is the only matte shade. I know this will work for me, but I don't even love this shade of bronzer. It's a little bit too pinky for me. I prefer something more warm, but this won't work for a lot of people. I don't understand how they can try to have more shades on foundation, but they don't have it in their powders. It's very odd to me. And I'm just gonna apply it around my face to try to warm it up. Um, even when I used this powder for the first time, it was a little bit too light for me. When I do have my correct shades of foundation and concealer, this actually is a little too light for me. So if you're any darker than me, um, this is definitely not gonna work for you. I actually do like the formula. It blends really nice. It is pigmented enough to bronze you up, but it's very, very blendable and buildable. It's pretty good. It's a simple matte bronzer. The formula is pretty nice and very blendable. So there's that. Before we put blush, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish out the lower lash line so we can be done with the eyes. And then we can finish out the face. I still have a lip product as well as highlighter and blush. So we're almost done. Oh, and setting spray. Okay, so eyes are done. Let's move on to blush. So this is called the Gush Blush Just Glow Silk Blush. I'm not sure if you can see that. See how it's like crumbly? <laughs> but then again, you know, we're not gonna judge by the swatch. But I will say, I actually prefer the formula of the bronzer. The bronzer actually kind of reminds me of the Milani bronzers, which is a really, really nice soft formula. I'm gonna go on with a pretty light hand. Oh, this is actually looking kind of cute. So it is pretty pigmented because I'm going in with a light hand and taking off all the excess and I'm kind of just tapping it at this point. Put some on the nose so I look nice and cold. The shimmer is a little bit chunky. It's not like super finely milled. Just looking at it, it looks like a really big shimmer shadow. It looks pretty from afar, but if you get very close, you do start seeing the gold like glitter particles. It, it, it looks really pretty. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I look I look really cute, I look pretty. Just remember that up close, you can see a lot of gold particles. If I had to recommend one of these powders for you, it would definitely be the bronzer. Moving on to highlight, they actually do have a lot of different highlighters. I decided to get this one because I wanted more of a gold champagne kind of highlight. So this is called the Just Glow Highlighter Duo and it is in the shade, the glow up is real. Okay, so I totally thought the lighter shade will look more like this shade. So as you can see, the more champagne shade is actually pretty, pretty pale. It is a lot lighter than I thought. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and use this one, which I, I don't really want to use this highlighter because this actually has glitter in it. The top one doesn't have any glitter. Okay, so very, very blinding. I'm going in with not too much of a light hand, but I'm also not trying to pack it. But it does have glitter particles. It's not as bad as the blush. I feel like the blush has way more like glittery particles than the highlight. Um, but let's just say there's a lot of glitter particles on my skin. I don't know, it's kind of another product for me that I'll probably give to a friend just because I don't see myself reaching for this at all, unfortunately. I'm gonna use a lighter highlight on my nose just to give myself a little bit of a tip. We have two more products. I'm first gonna set my face and then we'll do the lips. 
So they do have a couple different um, mists. I decided to get the hydrating one. This just says that it's infused with electrolytes, coconut water, and aloe to revitalize the skin. It boosts hydration up to 12 hours and that can be used before makeup or after makeup. Um, I like the setting spray. It's not gonna make you super dewy, but it is gonna make you a little bit more hydrated. And I can already tell that my skin is a little bit tacky but in a good way it takes away like all the powdery finishes on top i actually do like the spray if you're looking for something to make your face more plump and a little bit tacky then try this and if not they do have different finishes to try out so they don't have lip liners i could only find glosses and lipsticks so i decided to get a matte lipstick crayon these are called the all matte up nourishing lip crayon with coconut and hemp oil and this one specifically is in the shade blushed i'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with the gerard cosmetics lip liner in share okay and now let's use this little crayon Ooh, it's like very matte and i love that i tend to stay away from lipsticks because even when they say they're matte they're not actually matte but this is actually matte and it feels really good and it looks really good. It's very opaque. It looks gorgeous. This is, this is like one of the best products I've tried in this whole video. Wow, that looks really good. So I am back and I have my final thoughts. And since we did have a lot of misses in this video, I think it'll be easier if I just tell you what products I think are worth trying. The foundation's pretty good if you're looking for a new medium to full coverage foundation with a doe foot applicator that's only $6. The bronzer is really nice if it's your shade. So just remember that only one shade, but the formula is actually very pretty. If you're looking for a brow marker and you don't want to splurge on a high and one this is a pretty good one um just remember that the shades tend to be a little bit darker and cooler i actually do like this setting spray it made my face hydrated like it literally feels like i only have creams on which i really appreciate and i really enjoyed this this lip balm uh, i don't know why i'm calling it a lip balm i just feel like with crayons they tend to be more lip balms but this is actually very opaque very creamy and a truly matte shade and then lastly um i actually did like this brow gel it wasn't my correct shade but if you're just looking for a thickening tiny tiny brush applicator i think you're gonna like it so you know there was actually a lot of good products um i just feel like there was a lot of misses in between so i hope that you guys didn't find this video very negative i just like to keep it real with you guys and i'm a self-proclaimed drugstore makeup queen and so when i see products that are affordable but they're not that good i just know that there's so many other products that i would rather you put your money to and get good quality so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video again always let me know what brand you guys want me to do next i am working on a full face of ColourPop, but they're not restocking anything on their website so i like can't do it but just know that one is in the works and if you want to see more full face videos i will leave the whole playlist down below i have done a lot of them so if you're interested go check that out thank you guys so so much for watching i love you very much and i will see you guys in my next video bye